Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. With that being said, welcome back to Bite Sized Reviews. Today we have a literal bite sized figure batch to review today, as we're reviewing the Bandai Godzilla minifigure blind bag set. With me, I have five out of the full set Mothra, Godzilla 84, Space Godzilla, Rodan 56, and Ghidorah 91. First, going over the 1984 Godzilla, it actually looks pretty close to its movie counterpart with pretty well done paint applications. Like, there's no place where the paint apps look outright terrible for being such a tiny minifigure. The spines are decently painted, the claws, at least on the feet, are painted pretty decently, and even though the eye is pathetically small, they still manage to paint them flawlessly, and even the teeth, while they are just plain white strips, they look really well done. And even though the claws on the hand aren't painted, the sculpting, again, just looks really well done with all the tiny intricate details and bumps and crevices. Mothra is my personal least favorite, though her head is actually sculpted and painted pretty well with some orange, blue, white, and black. And up here you get all the fancy schmancy detailing of all the intricate little patterns of yellow and black. The slightly eye, kind of eye paint here. Not really eye paint, it's meant to look like an eye. And of course we have like the red and black down here. It all gets really bad though, when you realize they didn't even bother to paint the underside of it, which also features the same detailing, but no black paint whatsoever. But at least the abdomen is segmented, and you get a little bit of, well, I'll let you decipher what that is. Rodan is my personal favorite, being a much more duller type brown color, which again is accurate to the film. And we have these tiny little individually painted spikes on his chest, and we get a painted beak and face. On the back side, not really much in the way of paint, but we have a lot of detail with like the folds and how it would look like the suit in the film. Ghidorah here is the largest one I own, and as you can see, he has a lot of red paint applications, really reminding you of the Bandai Creations King Ghidorah 2001, how that's painted. And we can get a little bit of paint inside the mouth, which is pretty cool. And aside from the paint of red, there's really not much color to him aside from just basic gold. Although the wings are very much thicker, because if they made them any thinner, chances are they'd shear right off. We still have some of that amazing detail and sculpt work going all throughout the figure. And even like the tiny little diamond shaped scales and ridges on his body are very well present. And finally we have Space Godzilla, which as you can see, Space Godzilla is really well painted. He has like a tiny little uh, kind of crystal, red eyes, and of course, tiny little teeth. The tusks are definitely a little iffy painted, but they are alright. Nice little purple, and then we kind of have like the bluish purple for the base skin. And then we have the claws that are painted just like the 84s. And then we have all these white crystals going around the back. Shoulder crystals, which are actually painted pretty well. And then, of course, spiked end, which is, of course, a little scuffed on mine, but this thing is how many years old? So for some size comparisons, here the five are next to some standard six-inch scale Godzilla figures with the Playmates Shin Godzilla version 2 from the Toho series line, the Playmates Godzilla Kong the New Empire Shimu with Frostbite Blast, the standard version, and the NECA Godzilla 1995 Burning Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Destroy. And as you can see, these guys are pathetically small. Although as far as paint quality is concerned, I would even debate that these guys are about the same level as Playmates figures. Yeah, you heard me right. So overall, buy or don't buy because personally, I think that these guys are pretty cool. However, they're not a must-have because minifigures, in my opinion, have a very limited appeal. Although, they are pretty cool at the end of the day. They're tiny, nice little representations of the kaiju that appear on screen, but I hate the fact that they come in blind bags. I've always hated them, but that's another rant for a different day. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, definitely leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.